was a never ending cycle to the point that I felt there was no hope. I, I didn't have any hope. I had given up hope. I, I lost hope, honestly. Just completely hopeless. And I'm happy I found your, I found your channel. I'm following you and Dr. Barry and Dr. Anthony Chafee and your my inspiration. This horrible, horrible pain that I understand and a lot of people don't understand. My name is Kerry and I am on a mission. A mission to help the hopeless. I am a carnivore. I have been for over 270 days now. It's completely changed my life forever. I'm down 100 pounds since my heaviest. My whole body is changing. Look at this. It's crazy. I'm putting on muscle. Uh, my arthritis is gone. My inflammation is gone. My IBS is gone. So many things have changed, but the number one most important thing and the reason I'm wearing this shirt right now and the reason I'm putting together a documentary called Healing Humanity is because of hopelessness, because of depression that I went through for over 10 years that is completely reversed on carnivore diet. I have no depression. I have no anxiety. And I hear this story over and over again from so many other carnivores. And I have a close friend in particular that I had a phone call with who's going through horrible depression and anxiety right now. And I explained all these things to him and I decided to do this video for him. So Mav, I know you're watching this because I'm gonna make sure you watch it, I'm sending this to you. This video is for you, but it's also for all of the millions of other people out there who are going through what you're going through. And I wanna thank every person that sent in a video clip for this video. There are links in the description below to each of their channels. I encourage you to go subscribe and follow them and hear their full stories. The thought of being able to go outside again is, when you're a prisoner for so long. And I suffered with suicidal depression and crippling anxiety for uh, over 30 years. And um, mine just got worse and worse uh, to the point where I became, I, be, I started getting insomnia. I, I would sleep like maybe an hour at night. I suffered from a debilitating mental illness. Clinical depression, terrible black hole depression. I was about as depressed as a human being can be. Depression set in, almost cost me my family. My wife couldn't handle the pressure. <clears throat> because my family doctor diagnosed me with being majorly depressed. Problems with my mind before I started a carnivore diet. Christ, I was angry. Hi, Carrie man. I'm Mark Anthony Alves, and I'm from the Philippines. For the last 20 years or so, depression and anxiety have been at the forefront of my life, and it's held me back for way too long. Started to suffer from severe depression, suicidal depression. Um, I began to think to myself, if I have to live like this with all these problems, then I just would rather not live. I couldn't, I couldn't face the world, uh, let alone uh, face my girls and my wife. It was just, uh, it was definitely hitting me then and it's definitely hitting me now, just how horrible it had to be for them seeing their father. Through depression and, you know, mental illness that I've had a rather small capacity. I was struggling with severe depression and anxiety. And for the past 10 to 15 years, uh, all of those uh, irritability or all of those negative thinking of mine. The carnivore diet has affected my mental health. I never wanted to be around people. I would turn down social invitations. Depression, anxiety, schizoid personality disorder. And I just really started praying to God for help. And through a miraculous series of events, I, uh, I found the carnivore diet. Hello. Hi, is this Bill? And I said, Bill, I am here for you. I am a man on a mission. It's the truth. We need more of that in the world. So great talking to you. Call me anytime you need anything. I'll God bless you. You too, man. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. Wow. Come on, Bill. Bill, you can do this. Do it, Bill. Do it. You got this this horrible, horrible pain that I understand and a lot of people don't understand. And I was literally a shell of myself living not even half the life I, 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 I should have been living. I was 
fully diagnosed with stage four colon cancer that metastasized to the liver. I, I was suffering from, I don't, I don't even know how to describe the, the, the deepness and darkness of the depression. I was depressed. Depression is when you sleep all day. For the most part, it's been anxiety. I had my first panic attack when I was 20. It was terrifying. I couldn't breathe. But you never feel rested. I was at the bottom of the barrel, um, feeling depressed, not able to know which way to go or to turn to. I am a disabled veteran and I suffer from PTSD and depression. My depression turned into like severe anxiety. I had to stop seeing patients. For most of my life, I have lived with a debilitating type two bipolar. I had some very dark thoughts and I just beat myself up mentally, physically, punish myself with my thoughts. There are multiple suicide attempts. But who knew going back to my gut, right? That your, you know, your hormones for your emotions, your serotonin is primarily made in your gut. I mean, who knew, right? I don't even know if I was ta taught that in medical school. You just go back to eating the way humans used to eat thousands of years ago, back when everybody was healthy and, and not overweight and not pre-diabetic and didn't have all these medical problems. I did some more research and I came across Chris Palmer and his book. Uh, Professor Chris Palmer from Harvard, you know, he's a psychiatrist, they wrote a book called Brain Energy. And so when you, when you stop eating things that are damaging your mitochondria, that like carbohydrates and high insulin does that, and it stops your body from recycling your mitochondria, making new mitochondria, making more mitochondria, it, when you eliminate these things, all of a sudden they work a lot better and your brain works a lot better. I got this overwhelming feeling listening to Chris and listening to some of the others when it came to depressive disorders and mood disorders. This overwhelming feeling of edification that this is something that's working for this and of hope. But if you're not eating a proper human diet, yeah, you're washed up at 50. You, you go get in the recliner and you basically stay there for anywhere from five to 25 years and then you die. And that's not the way I, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. I think that, that at 50, you should be a dangerous human being. Keto and carnivore is that it greatly reduces your risk because it's going to elevate your mood and your energy and your ability to focus. You know, you stop putting in the poison, the sugars and uh, the carbs, the seed oils, and you start putting in the proper nutrition, the, the protein and the fats, the things that we were taught from a corrupt system, taught that were bad for us are actually the things that are good for us. Eating just in eggs and meat and steak and less than five ingredients a day. It's not just, I call it restorative, not just for the body, for what's going on in here as well. Yeah. I'm just saying, eat this real food and stop eating this fake food. Mm. That's yep. literally the message in its entirety. I would at sometimes wouldn't leave my house for three months. Like I'm talking step outside my house. And I was just praying that I would die before May 31st so that she could have the money, she'd be taken care of, and I would be out of the misery and pain that I was in 24 seven. Everybody would win. And quite frankly, I didn't know what to do. I would get up at 2 a.m. and I would literally be pacing around the room. My wife's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I have no idea. It was a never ending cycle to the point that I felt there was no hope. I, I didn't have any hope. I had given up hope. I, I lost hope, honestly just completely hopeless. Are you able to describe that? Yeah, because actually I have my master's in clinical counseling. So I practice as a therapist because what it is, is actually a completely different lens that you see everything through. Hmm. For instance, if someone were to say, it's a nice day outside. If you're suffering from mental illness with bipolar depression, bi bipolar disorder or depression, anxiety, you don't hear them say, it's a nice day outside. You hear them say, it's a nice day outside. Why aren't you out there? Depression is when someone reminds you of all the blessings you have in your life, and yet you can't trust them or believe them. And you feel incredibly guilty about that. I was unhealthy, pre-diabetic, 
um, high blood pressure, just had been recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. I would lay on this couch to sleep. I, I would get up to eat, maybe go to the bathroom and then go right back to sleep. I couldn't work. I couldn't hardly walk. So, I mean, just talking talking about the depression was probably one of the biggest things in my life. Obviously, they were all huge issues, um, but the depression was one of the big things that, uh, that I think impacted everything else. Now that I look back and I've lost two friends this last two years uh, to suicide, and uh, on three different occasions, it's only by the grace of God that I'm still here. And I think about how much destruction and how terrible all that was and how close calls that I went through and how many times I'd seen the doctors and not once did they ever bring up diet. A lot of the doctors said you need to change your diet to fix your problem. The doctors were not able to help in any way. It was either surgery, pills, I was on antidepressants for years. Sertraline, fluoxetine, many medications, diazepam, pregabalin. The side effects were terrible, even horrific. So I went to the doctor um, and I got put on pills after pill. Most of these pills were from different doctors, different specialists. And one thing they didn't tell me, first of all, was anything about nutrition. And luckily I found a guy named Kerry from Homestead Howe. He was shouting for joy about how the carnivore diet was helping him and his body. Yeah! I said, I want to get my results. And I'm so glad that Kerry told his story. And I'm happy I found your, I found your channel. I'm following you and Dr. Barry and Dr. Anthony Chafee and your my inspiration. I had previously heard of this diet before through Jordan Peterson. You're on this carnivore diet yes. now. Yes, I am not a dietary expert, so I'm now right. speaking as an uninformed citizen. Okay, so this is what happened. I stopped snoring the first week. I thought, what the hell? I started waking up in the mornings. I'd never been able to wake up in the mornings my whole life. Then I lost seven pounds the first month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. I lost seven pounds every month for seven months. Like I'd throw away all my clothes and my psoriasis disappeared. And I had floaters in my right eye and they cleared up. And she said to me, um, quit eating greens. And I thought, oh, really? Jesus, Michaela, try it for a month. I'm better now, probably, than I've ever been in my life. And I haven't been taking antidepressants for a whole year. I was on every SSRI for like eight years. I was on a cocktail of medications. Um, at the most, I was on 900 milligrams of lithium. Uh, there's hope. It's so important to realize that there is hope and that you can find peace. It really can. It can give people hope. That's one thing I got out of this. This diet gave mm. me hope. And basically since uh, May of this last year, I've been strict carnivore um, and the feelings I'm getting are absolutely incredible. In just 90 days, I've lost about 100 pounds. My brain fog is gone. I'm a better husband now to my wife. I'm a better father to my son. When I went carnivore, the first thing I started to notice was that my social anxiety was greatly reduced. But once I found carnivore, the depression never came back, the anxiety never came back. And I have been on the carnivore diet for three months and I've managed to heal all of my problems. My default demeanor now, I have a smile on my face. Before I was grinding my teeth and I was holding all my anxiety in my mouth. I'm happy all the time. Like I feel like I'm a better friend. I just feel like I'm in general a better person. And a lot of that came from healing my body physically to help me feel better mentally. I feel like I'm living my life to the fullest potential. Like there, I want for nothing more. To where I could, I could live, I could sleep, I could live, you know? And that started helping me be able to make better decisions and see things clearer and be stronger just a little over 100 days later and 71 pounds down carnivore is amazing and i love it. and carnivore has freed me from all of that since starting the carnivore i feel better in my mind definitely clarity of thinking and being able to plan and prep better and think better and for 20 months i've been on the carnivore diet and I'm on a journey of being cancer free. But the one thing the carnivore diet has healed is that doctor diagnosed me as being majorly depressed, anxiety, and sleep disorder. 
healed at all. I have no depression. I have no anxiety. Around three months in, a fog lifted. I didn't feel anxious anymore. And in turn, I felt happy. So much happier. It's just a relief. So now here I am, speaking publicly. Um, so yeah, my depression has gone away. Gone. So for those of you that don't know, like what the heck is going on? Three weeks ago, I didn't know this man, Bill. Let's just go. The car's still beeping. I don't know why. You nervous? I'm nervous. Scary. Oh, I got a hug. We got a hug. In just three months, I've lost 100 pounds and have completely turned my life around. I feel so much better on carnivore. My depression, anxiety is gone. And my depression was gone, anxiety gone. I'm a four plus year carnivore and carnivore has cured me of borderline personality disorder, depression, anxiety, schizoid personality disorder. Doctor is willing to start taking me off all my bipolar medication. All my other medications for all my other things have completely gone away side. I've, I've got my life back. I'm a new man. Lost well over 160 pounds so far, thus far. And it just happened really quick. The inflammation and the pain, uh, the depression, all gone really quick. Because it's, it helped me a lot. And I'm feeling good. Like a superhuman. Thank you and good luck on our journey, Carrie man. It's like with carnivore, you're up in the 70 or 80th range. You're just like up on this i am so happy to say <sighs> that it wasn't medication that made me better it was my own actions the information that is out there waiting for you to just grab it and it was february 24th of 2019. over a year and a half ago i was led to keto and intermittent fasting uh which started to work immediately, lost 70 pounds. Uh, I am now feeling great. Since being on carnivore, like everyone says, the first two weeks stopped snoring. I have severe sleep apnea. I barely have sleep apnea anymore. And now I absolutely positively love life. I love my job. I love my neighborhood. I love my wife. I love breathing. I love yeah. everything. And it's that's a huge transition to go from praying to die yeah. So just, I want to live to be 140. I want to live to be 140 years old. Fast forward to December of 2022, and I started eating the carnivore way, eating only meat. And I it has been now a year, right at a year, and I have not had one panic attack. I'm calm now when an unexpected situation arises. I can reason through it and deal with it. I have no problem whatsoever making presentations or putting myself out there on YouTube. Helping with my depression and PTSD has been amazing. That feeling, I get emotional just, just talking about it because that feeling just overwhelmed me. And the thought that what I'm doing is causing me to feel this way, I just cried. And I woke my wife up, she says, what's wrong? I says, there's nothing, I'm just happy. There's hope, there's that light at the end of the tunnel that I can start reaching, I just can start touching it. And I cried for several hours because now there's this hope. It's so important to realize that there is hope and that you can find peace. There's a video on my channel. It's, it's not very long. It's, it's waiting to lose itself. So I'm out here putting in work this morning. If I can do it, you can too. I've lost 243 pounds in, since April the 22nd of last year. And it's amazing. Most, yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. But even more so than 243 pounds being lost, you can be skinny or you can be underweight or you can be overweight. But if you don't have hope, if you're living in a place of dark and deep depression, it doesn't matter what state your life in. 
is in because you mm. don't have the will or the hope to function. In April of 2019 was my last bipolar episode. And that was a miracle. Like you don't get over bipolar disorder. Um, and then thankfully I was able to go back to work full time in June, tapered off all my psych meds with my psychiatrist. Don't do that on your own. It may sound extreme at first, but there will come a day when you realize, you know what? I'm not craving carbs. I'm not craving sweet anymore. I don't need it. You know, it gives you strength. And I think if you are willing and you're open enough to take a leap of faith, there's lots of people in this community that are willing to give you their time and their support and encouragement. I'm, I'd like to think I'm one of those people, you know? It's been 230 days on the carnivore diet, and I am down 70 pounds since my heaviest. I've lost over 30 inches in just these seven months, and I finally feel like I have a purpose in my life. Give it a try, don't be afraid. Just give it 60 days and it'll change your life. I've told other veterans out there about it and trying to get them onto the carnivore lifestyle. And once you start putting that in your body, you're going to notice the big difference. I just want to get the word out and encourage people that if they are struggling with anxiety and with panic attacks, to please at least consider giving the carnivore diet a try. It can't hurt, and I am telling you, it has changed my life. One of the uh, highlights of this journey has been um, my vocal cord. Uh, after being on this journey for a year and a half, I went last December and they tried to find the cancer and they could not. And I said, I know my voice is back and I'm feeling good. Benefits that I've experienced on this way of eating have greatly improved my overall quality of life. So I love it. I love it. And um, I hope that other people do feel hope when they consider going on carnivore. And I think everyone should try it. We're about to meet Jeff to Prosperous. Hey. hey! What's going on, oh, brother? Man. Great to see you. Great to see you. Awesome. Oh. And it's healed me. Carnivore's healed me big time. I don't take any pills for my mind. I don't take anything. I live my life to the fullest. Okay, for the benefits of me having stage four cancer, and there's no better time for me to start than right now. My good friend Carrie's here. Carrie, are you ready for this? I think so. Okay, I haven't done this in a long time since I was 20 years old. So here we go. Uh, we going, are we going together? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Carrie's friend, Math, that's struggling, I hope you consider things that can improve your mental health and mental well-being. And it doesn't have to be carnivore. It could be keto at first. It could be anything. But whatever you do, you have to understand the proper human diet can heal you. It has helped my physical and, most importantly, my mental health just immensely. I would never go back to my old way. I am going to stay carnivore because I love how I feel. Carnivore, for me, huge, huge blessing. Physical health, mental health, which frees you up to do all the other things that you're meant to do in life. When your body's healed and your brain's healed, it, it is the freedom that I was looking for. And it is such a travesty, the people that are suffering with this day after day, looking their doctors in the eye and getting on drugs that are just making it worse, making them more dependent on things. You can be free from this. And if you haven't, you owe it to yourself to try the proper human diet and heal yourself. Imagine if 13 months ago you had a little time machine and you could look in the future a year from now when you started and see yourself on the paddleboard and everything you're doing and your YouTube channel. You're talking to Dr. Barry and Dr. Ovadia on your channel and all the accomplishments. Yeah, you should be so proud of yourself. It's amazing what you've done in, in one year. It's, especially when you have the depression too. You're not just doing yeah. obesity. You have to overcome depression, which well. is a, a battle on its own. <laughs> and it's not just me because uh, other veterans who I've talked to tell me the exact same thing. It's not like, oh, it's just me. I'm lucky. No, every veteran I've talked to that's done this 
has seen a complete change in their uh, their outlook on life, their motivation, um, you know, their depression going away, anxiety going away. It's all very standard. Veterans who are in crisis and these law enforcement, you know, first responders that are suicidal in crisis and you fix their diet, man, we're gonna have like a superhuman army out there of people that can, you know, basically return to life and, and they'll be back like George was, they'll be back. And it's, that's yeah. what I'm shooting for with Mission Carnivore. If even one person gets that out of Mission Carnivore, then my, my mission's accomplished. If one person doesn't commit suicide because of it and turns their life around and, you know, that's that's mission accomplished. That's my that's my mission now. But military guys, and I'm sure law enforcement, same, and firefighters and such, we don't like to uh, go to people for help because we're trained kind of not to. We're trained to like, suck it up and drive on, right? So if we can offer something they can just do themselves, they don't have to be public about it. Even. They're just like, hey, I'm just going to fix this because I identify the issue. So it, I think it can definitely appeal to a lot of them where they don't have to go to a doctor. They don't have to go get counseling or see someone. They can say, Listen, you know, first thing, let me fix my diet and see if this changes things. Um, cause of the suicides, according to the Army, is untreated depression. So the depression is there. I've had it. I mean, most people I know have had it at some time. And I can tell you this diet uh, carnivore diet definitely changes that for sure, 100%. So please, I am asking you for help. Share this video far and wide. My only motivation in asking you is to help reach more of the hopeless. There's millions of people going through depression and that are lost to suicide. Share this video, post it on your Facebook page, send it to your friends. And if you can help with the documentary, Healing Humanity, Power of a Proper Human Diet, we have Tons of links in the description below. You can donate on the GoFundMe. That helps us the most. We need money to continue filming. You can purchase these shirts. You can pur purchase our, our Compassionate Carnivore shirts. We have our Redmond's Portable Salt Shakers you can purchase. Every penny from all of that goes towards the documentary. I will not take a penny from any of this. It's all going to the documentary. It's a, my mission in life. It's my purpose. It's what I want to do, uh, but I can't do it myself. And I put thousands of dollars of my own money into it and my time, and I will continue to do that. And I can't wait to share with you what we have. We've already gathered so much amazing footage and stories from Bill, who you saw clips in the video, Jeff DeProsperous, Maggie, Dr. Tony Hampton, and we're gonna be working with uh, Dr. Ken Berry, uh, Dr. Anthony Chafee. We've got videos coming up for all of that. But to professionally film these and get them on one of the big streaming services so we can reach millions is gonna cost more money. So. We're asking for your help fundraising. Links in the description below. And if you can't help with the fundraising, please just share the video and get the word out. I'm Maggie and I'm a carnivore. I'm Lee Copus and I'm a carnivore. I'm John and I'm a carnivore. I'm Misty and I'm a carnivore. My name is Robin Heron and I'm a carnivore. I'm Eugene, I'm a carnivore. My name is Sandy and I am a carnivore. I am Sophia and I am a carnivore. I am Brett and I am a carnivore. My name is Tamara and I am a carnivore. I am Craig and I am a carnivore. I'm Rod and I'm a carnivore. My name is Aaron and I'm a carnivore. I am Michael and I am a carnivore. I'm Alicia and I'm a carnivore. I'm Ron Nichols and I am a carnivore. My name is Jeremy and I'm a carnivore. I am Bubba Rob and I am a carnivore. I am Dave and I am a carnivore. I am Emily and I am a carnivore. My name is Forrest and I am a carnivore. I am Krista and I am a carnivore. My name is Brian and I am a carnivore. I am Kathy and I am carnivore. I'm Maggie. I'm Lisa. I'm a carnivore. I am a carnivore. And I am a carnivore.